Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the I Am New York European Qualifier. So we are uh, moving into another series here. We have in the bottom left position of Derelict Watcher, the red Pronos player from Neurosoft. It is Wellmu. And uh, in the top right position, as the blue Pronos player from Fnatic, it is Harstom. So, uh, of course, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, so, I've basically just been recording these games live. Uh, I actually just recently moved um, pretty much across the country. So, having everything perfectly set up for things like anti DDoS is not the easiest thing in the world to set up. So, just wanted to make sure I briefly mentioned that. And aside from that, it's a good PvP we have coming here. Harstam actually just took out um, Happy of Empire Gaming. It's actually pretty nice, considering that Happy is probably one of the best Terran versus Protoss players there are. I actually don't know if I if I would say there's really any European player that plays TVP better than Happy. So I'm actually quite surprised. Harstam, not a bad player, but certainly not... Uh, Someone that you would consider in the top echelon, so really playing well. Well moved, course did quite well for himself in WCS Europe, very well actually. I think he even finished top four. Some he made it. He's actually one of the guys that made it really deep through that heavy pool of Protosses. So as far as PVP goes, I do want to favor Well move Just, uh, just simply out of. I don't even know. I just got to favor him just because he's, he's done so well recently. But uh, Harstam does have an opportunity here to uh, to kind of shake things up. We, we could potentially see a pretty pretty interesting game. Neither player is really doing anything weird. And we do finally have some sort of deviation. Both players are basically doing the same thing. Um, but we do have a second gateway being added on for Wilmu. So, essentially, he's... Uh, most likely going to go for some sort of very fast stalker, stalker play, stalker poke, push thing. Um, and if he does, well, it could be interesting. You I mean we have a mothership core coming out and a stalker for Harstam? No tech buildings yet. So this is pretty much the number one thing they were waiting on to see. Of course, is what what these guys will actually want to go for. Harstam with the probe scout. See a second gateway. Nothing really unusual, and it's actually a sentry that's come out for Wellmo. Um, and Wilma has not done any scouting at all, so this is just a very defensive build from him. Open up with the sentry into the stalker. This looks like an expand build just because of that, but he is going double stalker out of this. Does have his own mothership core now. And it looks like he just wants to scout for proxies with it. So I am wondering what exactly Wilma's plan is. We Most of the time, if you open up with the sentry, it's because you want to expand. You want to... Um, I don't know, mostly just place defensively and safe, but Harstam's going for the faster expand. Pretty much just a one-gate sentry expand with the Mothership Core, which is quite nice. Uh, if if Wilmu expands now, he's going to be slightly behind, which is actually it's kind of neat because he opened up at the second gateway to be safe, and now we have double sentry production, so I'm almost certain this is going to be an expansion from Wilmu. We should see a probe head down to his natural any moment. Um, and there it is now sent over there. So the Nexus is about... Yeah, it's actually passed halfway complete for Wilmu. Excuse me, for Harstam. And the Nexus is just starting for Wilmu. So neither player really... Um, well, I guess Wilmu not really getting any kind of big edge. Harstam has the expansion faster. He has the robotics facility coming in. There's no tech yet on the field for Wilmu. He's chrono boosted his warp gate, but... How much pressure is he really going to try to do in this situation? That's, that's what I really want to know. We even have the Hallucinated Phoenix sent out to scout... Wants to see what's going on here. Spots another gateway on the way. So Harsim's moved up to three gateways. He has still, of course, that robo, but where is the tech from Wilmu? It's a forge. All right, I can take it. I can dig it. Forge play is not bad, um, but we do need something, some sort of lex level. There it is, the robotics facility from Wilmu. So we'll get immortals, observers to scout. We could potentially see some fun little um, drop play. There's certainly plenty of options available to these guys. And, uh, let's see, Wilma now. 
throw on you. Plus one attack. That's actually kind of interesting. We have an immortal on the way for Harsem. Very standard. Nothing unusual at all to see an immortal at this phase. Um, he did get an observer first. No, actually, he decided to go for the Phoenix to scout instead of going for an observer. That's actually really interesting. Are there no? Okay, he did, he did get the observer. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'd seen it on the production tab. But um, the Phoenix for Harsem dances around. Most importantly, he knows what his opponent's doing. He knows pretty much everything, especially about this forge. So I'm wondering if he's just getting this plus one for some kind of early edge. Maybe he's looking to do some sort of timing attack with it. Could be a plus two timing attack. And it's funny because PvP is a matchup where you oftentimes see upgrades neglected in favor of cranking out uh, powerful units in the early phase. So it's kind of neat. Um, and here we have the Warp Prism now. Coming in. So, Harsim has an opportunity to go for a little bit of harass. He can try to do a little bit of damage. And I do like that. I like to see that. Um, Twilight Council is complete, though, for well known. So, we're going to find out if he wants to go DTs, if it's going to be something crazy. It's actually charge. Very fast charge for well known. Huh. Usually, you get blink, but it looks like he wants to go charge lot Archon. Which is, is kind of cool, uh, in all honesty. Going for the charge lot Archon. So, what this is going to do is you can break the force fields of the Archons. The Zealots, of course, with the charge can get up close and personal very quickly. Um, but Harstam with his own Twilight Council. I'm kind of wondering where this is going to go now. The Hallucinated Phoenix for Wilmu sees that Harstam has a very standard, solid setup. This pylon's been watching the third base of Harstam for quite a while now. Here comes this Warp Prism. Two Immortals loaded up. This is actually a really sweet drop play. We almost never see this these days, even with the Warp Prism speed buff, and partially because it is so difficult um, to keep it alive, even with the speed. So, uh, it needs to be very careful, actually. That Warp Prism is so weak. I don't even know if you want to do anything more with that. Just head home. But this is an interesting opportunity for Wellman to maybe warp something in here, try to do some damage, pick that Warp Prism off. He even hallucinated a Colossus, and he's going to scout with it. I think the hallucination doesn't last long enough for this Colossus to cross the map. There's no, there's actually no way he'll ever know this hallucinated Colossus was even made. I don't think he's... Oh my goodness, his Phoenix will find it. Well, that makes things easier. But I think he knows now that that's probably not real if it's being sent over here. Especially since he's probably about to kill it. At least he burned the charge, I guess. So the mortal drop's gonna hit over towards the third now of Wilmu. Kind of interesting. Um, I, it's so risky because the warp prism is hurt, and it just doesn't have that many shields, which is why, um, which is why I think this is so crazy. Because if you don't have the shields in the warp prism, I mean, if you don't have that much health on it either, is obviously a big issue. But the health doesn't regenerate, and these two immortals are a ton of health. So picks off a pylon. He's gonna load up. I guess it's kind of neat. You just, you just can't really do anything with them while they're in the air like that. Um, the Archons are great because they don't take bonus damage from Immortals. And they just in general have a lot of health. So that charge is done. We have plus two attack coming in for Harsim and plus one armor. So he's going in crazy into his own upgrades, actually. What? And I, I actually think he's... Yeah, he's going to have an upgrade lead once he's finished. Wellmu has not even started his plus three or his uh, plus one armor. So he's got a straight plus two attack. And since those upgrades are not done yet for Harsim, this actually presents a really great opportunity for Wellmu to try to bust in here. He picks off that War Prism with both Immortals. That's why you don't fly that thing around. Oh goodness, this this is this is a tough spot to be in right now for Harsim, but I'll have to see if he can hold off Wellmu. He does have his own Archons now. It's not the worst position that he could possibly be in, but it's still very difficult. And now some zealots with that back pylon attacking those probes. He's waiting for him to try to go save them. But no, he's just going to charge right in here. Those Archons dealing that splash damage, eradicating the opposing zealots and allowing Wellmu to get a pretty sweet surround on the force of Harsim. And it looks like Wellmu is just going to completely barrel through this here for game number one of this best of three in the IAM New York Wallifier. GG Wellmu.